Uh, Mr. Molinga, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Moses. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, we've just heard um, that finally you've uh, come through. Uh, many were thinking that this was just a joke. Uh, tell us, what, what have you done here? Yeah, I've officially deported the, the former minister and the former MP for loan, Dr. Chimbakambwili, today here at Nakonde police station for giving false information to the nation about the death of the late Obedi Kaswango, who died in 2019. Uh, Dr. Kambwili openly told the nation that Mr. Obed was murdered by a known person who is Honorable Boman Lusambo, the Kabushi member of parliament. It was in public domain, it was everywhere. When he, he reported himself, of which he said he was the witness, it was so unfortunately, again, the same Dr. Kambwiri came and told the nation that Obed died of malaria. Now I want Dr. Kambwiri to help us to understand where he got that information before the post-mortem report that Obed was murdered by Honorable Boman Nusambo. That is the only case I came to report here, Moses. Uh, well, many people, some of the people I'm sure you noticed yesterday criticized you that you are simply making this, uh, probably you are frustrated or you're trying to be political about this whole situation. No, I'm not even frustrated at all, Moses. All I want is justice to prevail. Zambia, we have a law, a law which we follow here. So I think he, Dr. Kambri, for him to come open in that way, he have enough evidence. He have enough evidence which he can show to the nation that that person, he didn't die of malaria. He died of... He, he was murdered by Boman Musa. Okay. And... Um... Well, in his address yesterday, he was concerned about these situations where we've had people reporting a case from a very far place in which a crime was not allegedly committed. Why this move here in Nakonde? Because already if it should happen that he gets arrested, there is an issue of transporting him here where he's been reported as we've seen in other places. That is a provision of the law, Moses. That's the provision of the law that the case can be reported in any part of the country as long as you're reporting to, to the police. So I don't think that is a big issue. Okay. I, I understand you're coming here in the capacity of uh, being a resident of Nakonde, but for some people, they know you from a political scene, that somehow you're connected to Mr. Kambuli. So what's your interest in this case? When you say I'm connected to Mr. Kambuli, what do you mean? Somehow in politics. Oh, in the politics, yes. yes. Oh, we are, uh, we are all in PF. Yes, you know. Let us not uh, politicize everything. What is straight is straight. Let us not say no just because I'm on PF. Whatever I see longs in PF, then for me it's bread and butter. No. Eh? Mr. Kambuiri must help us to produce evidence. Obed was a parent too. He was a brother to some people. So why should I remain quiet? Just because I'm from PF. The answer is no Moses. Justice must prevail. Justice must prevail. If justice must prevail, that will be a wake-up call. It will bring decent politics in our country. We need now to change the type of politics we are practicing here in Zambia. We need to change the type of politics. We need politics of ideas. And at no time did I say that Bowman did not kill uh, or attack Kasongo. The only thing I said was that the postmortem which is there indicates that Obed died of malaria. And obviously, you don't expect me, when there is a postmortem report indicating otherwise, to go to the police and allege that uh, Bowman Lusambo is the one who killed, uh, who killed uh, Obed. Because that would be tantamount to defamation of character. I have suffered so many court cases, and I would not be so careless to go and say Boman Lusambo killed Kasongo even after the postmortem report indicates that he, he died of uh, 
of malaria. Unless there is a second opinion. And those who are, uh, still believe, or those who are saying that uh, uh, the postmortem was not correct, have the right to ask for a second uh, opinion. And the second opinion in, in this case is what we, was reported on social media, that the police have exhumed the body, which actually worked out to be untrue, because I did find out from Obedi's uh, 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 relatives, and they said there's never been such a thing, the body has not been exhumed, and we have not been told that this matter has uh, restarted. Ilo tuwa ile kupolisi tuwa liba tumine wa Human Rights Commissioner, senumone file chitika. Ilo wa mkuma wile kuli boman, notu muntu umbi boman, minister. Kaidu umu ina ala ilumba tini, ni budoza. In fact, mula wu ino ushiku, ife ya chitike, mwile kala chalo. Bomani ayi yepta pa polisi, pa polisi wa mwishita, pa minister mwile ya kuiso ushikuna baba ntumuni na wo. At no, tuwa ya mwishita pa patro. Elo wa mwate nchito ya nwa minister kuya mwishita pa patro. Mwelele ni kukampu kumieni. Mwala leta fefi ongo mwile ingila. Ilo wa ilesa angaba ntuesu, wafuma mwku tuwala, kaidu wa president wa alikulia, tuwa ino kuchita distributor ma polling agents, mwuma centers mwile, mwense wa ya ikala pa mwana wa electro commission of Zambia, overnight. Mwile. No mbaka suwabadi tuke nyoku pitamo wa polisi alipandu mwili wa president. Imi otoka shaa hini disi tabale shisuminish. Mm. So li laba fumine mwubu shikolo tuwa hile nomba tuwa hile abandu. Eku ya kumanyo wa wena boma. Nuku boma uku bateta. Umu ya shamu ya wano kumati boma ni bali mane bazi. Mm. Efi mwinga nchite fi bani eba ba boma. Ebele mwipaye ni kill them. Ba stupid haba. Anina na mwotoka. Ilo ba hile kupolisi. Aisa boma ni kupolisi. Pamba no kutinta na obedi ya lemwe wati ni wongu minefi. Mwonefi ya unde pa wili. Hmm. Wa polisi wa kano kuikata boma. Ama doke tswa isula wa kano kuikata. Umu numendo po awele la mkulu saka teta fi omu tuwe. Na fi omu tuwe. Haya fi kuchipate ala kumutwe. Kumutwe. Mpaka mailolo wa achiri lemo. Efi atushile. Hmm. Na pano tulela nda boma nita wala muikata. But now there is one of statements over 80 witnesses have given testimony to the police of what Abale Uma want to bomb and want to have a bomb and you win. But want to bomb and minister. Announce the passing on of Obed Kasongo, who was beaten and hacked by Boma Nusambo and group during the run by elections. Mr. Kasongo died today upon arrival at Levi Manawasa Hospital. Since he left Luansha, he has been bedridden and complaining of a severe headache. And today they took him to the hospital in the morning he was given some painkillers and sent home. But when he went home, the headache became more severe that they decided to take him to the hospital. And upon arrival, he was pronounced dead. Dockets have been opened over this attack. In fact, this was a case of aggravated robbery because he was beaten and robbed of 15,000 plus three phones. The police in Luansh have opened dockets, but we are reliably informed that they've been told not to go ahead with the arrest of Boman Musambo and others. But today we have lost a life because of police inefficiency. I want to call upon the police and the authorities to immediately arrest and charge Boman Musambo and this group for premeditated death. The man was hacked and he had been stitched. He had about eight stitches on the wound. But since then, he had never been well until his passing this morning. These are the kind of politics that Patriotic Front wants to bring to Zambia. And I want to urge Mrs. Katanga to immediately arrest Bowman Musambo. Oh, my God.